Hey guys, welcome to Sloan Outdoors. Hey, today I'm going to be pattern testing a couple of shotguns. One is my personal shotgun. It's a Winchester SX3 Turkey. Um, I've got a Burris Fast Fire 3 red dot on top of it. And uh, currently I've got a Carlson's Longbeard XR choke in it um, with a constriction. I think it's 568. I got a couple of more chokes I'm going to test with it. Let's see, one is the uh, choke came with it is a Briley and it is a 570. And then the other choke I'm going to test, got it laying here somewhere, is the uh, Code Black um, Turkey. It's a uh, 565. So I'm going to give these a shot. Um, I've tested these before, and personally, I like the Carlsons. Um, what I'm shooting today is I'll have some Federal Number no. 7. It's which I, that's what I hunted with last year, TSS. And then I'm going to test some uh, Federal TSS Number no. 9 out of it, see how that does. And then I'm also going to shoot some uh, Longbeard XR number no. six. And I'll tell you, for lead shot, XR Longbeard XR number no. six, that's about as good as you can get, I think. You know, if you don't want to spend the money for the TSS. Um, to start with today, I'm going to shoot some uh, game loads at a close range just to check my zero before I spend spend the money on the TSS. And then the second shotgun I'm going to shoot today is a uh, uh, it's a Stoger M3020 compact. Um, this is my daughter's shotgun, and it's a, you could call it a youth model, I guess. It's got a shorter stock. It's uh, made for a, a small frame person. You know, my youngest daughter, she's four foot ten, so this fits her pretty well. And uh, currently, I've got a Carlson's choke in it. Now, today I'm going to test this a little bit. I'm going to shoot the Carlson's choke, the Longbeard XR, and then I'm also going to shoot the uh, extra full choke that came with the shotgun. And I'm going to shoot number nine shot out of that. And, and, and really what I'm curious about is if I get a little bit more open pattern at 20 yards. You know, so here I'm talking about a person that uh, doesn't shoot a shotgun much, shooting a bead. You know, so a real tight pattern at close range, you know, you could very easily miss, you know, especially somebody that doesn't spend much time behind a shotgun. So I, I want to see what the patterns look like with that. So, so I'll get that done today. And uh, I'll be shooting at 20 and 40 yards. And then at the end of this, what I'm going to do is uh, whichever choke I decide to stick with in this Winchester, I'm going to shoot at 40 yards. And I'm going to shoot TSS number 7, TSS number 9, and Longbeard XR number 6. And I'm going to shoot it at a piece of roof flashing. You know, this roof flashing is, uh, I doubt you'll be able to see this, but it's uh, 10 thousandths thick. So... You know, it's a pretty good indicator. You know, I did this last year just to prove to myself at 40 yards that TSS had the knockdown power. You know, and then, the, you know, I like the results that I got. So I'm going to do that today. I'll put it on video and then, um, you know, and then show you guys, you know, what it looks like. And then you can decide for yourself, you know, which one you want to go with. If you want to spend the money for TSS or, or uh, you know, stick with a long beard, that sort of thing. But honestly, either one of these shells, make a 20 gauge a very viable option you know for turkey hunting you know it's a lighter weight gun you know the recoil i mean you guys know you shot the threes the three and a half inch 12 gauge and you know how brutal that recoil is you know a 20 gauge you know in these magnum loads is much more manageable so me as i get older i like less recoil so anyway that's what i'm doing today we're gonna get started i'm gonna start out here real short like i said just check the uh check the zero earplugs Safety glasses. Let's go see what that looked like. I like that with the bird shot. That was centered up pretty good. I don't know how well you can see that. Pretty good with that. I'm gonna shoot the Stoger next, just to, uh, you know, just to see that that shorter stock kind of messes with me a little bit. And 
So my point of aim is uh, not where my daughter's point of aim will be, so I'll have to get her out to, to shoot these. So anyway, go try it. All right, let's give this Stoger a shot with some bird shot. Try to see where this thing hits for me. This is a great little shotgun, by the way. Makes a good bird gun, good all-around shotgun. You get a lot for your money. Let's take a look. Not too bad for me. I pretty much took the bead and I covered up this circle. You see the pr primarily all my shot hit just above that. So just above the bead, um, that looks pretty good. I'll be able to learn some things with that. Okay, folks, I like where things are, uh, get this out. I like where things are dialed into. Um, I'm going to start out here with this test, and I'm going to shoot a uh, Longbeard XR number six. And I've got the uh, factory choke for this gun, which is the Briley choke, and it's a 570 constriction. So we're going to shoot this at 20 yards. Um, checked it. My trusty rangefinder. Yeah, 20, 20 yards. So we'll shoot this at 20, and then. Uh, and then we'll shoot the Federal TSS number seven at 20. I'm not gonna shoot the number nine in this uh, this choke because I just don't have enough with me. So I'm gonna save that number nine for that Carlson's choke, for this particular gun anyway. Let's see what happens. Dead turkey. All right, there's 20 yards with the Briley with the uh, Longbeard XR number six. So, centered up pretty good. Dead turkey all day long. All right, let's shoot some TSS. I apologize if I get loud on you. I keep forgetting to take these earplugs out, but better safe than sorry. Okay, Federal TSS, number seven, 20 yards. Uh, Winchester SX3 with the Briley 570 constriction choke. Dead turkey. All right, that's the Federal number sevens. TSS, 20 yards with the Briley uh, factory choke that comes with this uh, Winchester XX3 turkey. Pretty good, dead bird. All right. Now we're gonna shoot a Longbeard XR number six with the uh, Carlson's Longbeard XR 568 constriction. Let's see what happens. This choke likes this likes this load pretty good. All right, here you go. That's the uh, Carlson's 
long beard XR choke with a 568 constriction with the uh, long beard XR number sixes. So good pattern. All right, TSS load. Federal TSS number seven, 20 yards. Okay, out of the Winchester. That's the, uh, take the earplug out this time. That's the uh, Federal TSS number seven, 20 yards. Devastating pattern. I think that was probably the wadding just went through in the center of the head there. Just about decapitated him. Pretty good shot. I think what I'm gonna do now is, uh, before I switch to the Pattern Master choke, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at 20 yards and shoot the Federal TSS number nine. Let's see how it does. I've never shot the number nine shot out of this particular gun. Never shot it, period, so we'll see what happens. All right, Federal TSS, number nine, out of the uh, 20 gauge Winchester SX3 Longbeard with the Carlson's Longbeard 568 Constriction Choke. Wow, that's a Federal TSS number nine out of that Carlson's. That's a uh, that's a little bit more forgiving load than that number seven. Um, I'm curious how this is going to do at uh, 40 yards. It does good at 40. We'll see. Anyway, that I like that. All right, gonna switch chokes. Switch over to the Pattern Master, and then we'll shoot at 20 yards with the Longbeard XR number six. And the number set and the federal TSS number seven. All right, we got the uh, Pattern Master Code Black Turkey 565 five, uh, constriction, and uh, we'll be shooting the Longbeard XR number six from Winchester. 20 yards. All right, there's the uh, Winchester Longbeard number six out of the Code Black Pattern Master with a 565 constriction, 20 yards. Okay, this will be Federal TSS number seven out of the uh, Code Black Pattern Master with a 565 constriction, 20 yards. All right, there's the uh, Federal TSS number seven out of the Code Black 565 Constriction, 20 yards.
All right, I'm gonna fire off a uh, nine shot. Just real curious. Okay, so this is the Federal TSS number nine, and uh, be shooting it out of the Code Black 565 Constriction. 20 yards. All right, now that's devastating. So that's the Winchester um, SX3 with the uh, Federal TSS number nine. And that's the Code Black Turkey Choke. It's a uh, 565 constriction. So that's 20 yards. And that's a, uh, the bulk of the shot is right there. That would have decapitated him for sure. All right, I think now let's, uh, before I move out to 40, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to do at 20 with this Winchester. Let's uh, let's break out the Stoger and uh, test a couple of loads at 20 yards before I move everything. All right, this is the uh, Stoger M3020 Compact 20 gauge. Uh, it's got the shorter stock. Uh, you know, it's basically a youth model. Um, you know, if you saw the beginning of the video, you know, I talked about it a little bit there about my daughter using it so anyway uh, we're going to shoot the uh, carlson's choke it's 568 constriction long beard xr number six twenty yards dead turkey All right, this one's out of that Stoger, 20 yards. See what I was talking about earlier about it's a, it, it's a, it's an unforgiving pattern at 20 yards, especially for somebody learning, uh, shooting a bead. You really have to be precise. I don't know. I'm gonna shoot this uh, number nine TSS, and uh, I think I've about decided to shoot it out of the Carlson's and out of the, uh, out of the factory choke. I hope I have enough to do this whole test. So we'll see. We'll try it. All right. Stoger 3020 Compact. Uh, Federal TSS number nine, 20 yards. All right, here's the Federal number nine, TSS out of the Carlson's Longbeard, 568 Constriction. You know, all these shots that I'm doing today are all 20 gauge, so. Um, you know, I shot a little bit left on that. Pattern was a little bit left. Um, I don't think it was me. I had a, uh, you know, I'm shooting out of this lead sled. It's pretty rock solid. Um, I had a, had a pretty good hold. I felt like I was, you know, same spot I am on every target. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit left. We'll try the factory choke out of this with the number nine shot. I just just curious to see what'll happen. Okay, this is the uh, factory choke that comes with this uh, Stoger M3020. Uh, they're extra full. I don't know what the constriction is. I'd have to call Stoger and ask them. If anybody knows, you know, drop it in the comments below. Let me know. I'd be curious. We'll see what happens here. So I'm gonna shoot a uh, TSS number nine. 20 yards, federal. Uh, 
I like that much better, at 20 yards anyway. All right, here we go. That's what I was hoping to see out of that uh, factory choke. That's a little bit more forgiving pattern at 20 yards right there. I mean, she could be, you know, an inch or two each side of the head, you know, and still kill that turkey. That's kind of what I'm after right there. I'm curious what this will do at 40. Um, so we'll find out here in just a minute. I'm about to move everything. But, uh, you know, at 20 yards, um, I like I like this choke and this load. So I think it'd work good. You know, for a youth hunter or, you know, anybody learning turkey hunting, shooting a bead type shotgun, you know, this, this gives you a little extra leeway. It's not that super tight softball pattern at 20 yards. So anyway, let's move on. All right, we're out to 40 yards. Um, hit it with the uh, range finder. Let's see. Yep, 40 yards. So we're gonna start out with the, uh, pick back up with the Stoger since I got it in the lead sled. So I got the uh, Stoger M3020 with the uh, factory choke and I'm gonna shoot a TSS number nine out of it. And if that looks pretty good, I'm not even gonna shoot a number six out of it, of long beard. I don't know, then again, I might, because some of you might wanna know, you know, what that does. So anyway, we're gonna shoot a uh, TSS number nine 40 yards. All right, here we go. 40 yards. TSS number nine. And this little gun, the way that stock is short. It's just rocking my jaw, man. It's like I get hit in the face every time I shoot this thing. All right, folks. That's 40 yards with the uh, TSS number nine factory choke out of the Stoger M3020. Um, I like that. That's definitely a killing pattern right there for sure. And uh, very forgiving. I mean, if, if she's uh, three inches either way, you know, still gonna kill that bird. So uh, I like that pretty good. So I feel pretty confident about that number nine out to 40 yards. Um, I think that's what I'll go with for her is this factory choke with the TSS number nine. Just because somebody might be wondering, um, I'm gonna shoot this factory choke out of this 3020 Longbeard XR number six. So we'll see how it does, 40 yards. Out of the factory choke. All right, guys. That's uh, 40 yards, Longbeard XR number six out of the Stoger with the factory extra full choke. I think I like the number nine better. But, you know, if you don't want to spend the money for the TSS, you know, you need to shoot the Longbeard XR, it's a great round, you know, it's definitely a dead turkey for sure. All right. 40 yards, we got the Carlson's Longbeard XR uh, chokes, 568 constriction. Um, we're gonna shoot the Longbeard XR number six, 40 yards. All right, there's that one, guys. Longbeard XR number six, 40 yards out of the Stoger with a uh, Carlson's Longbeard XR choke. Anyway, I shot a little bit high on that one. That could have been me, I'm not sure. 
this little gun's beat my face up pretty good, so um, I might have flinched a little bit. I think I got just enough number nine TSS to finish this out. Okay, so uh, Federal TSS number nine out of the Stoger M3020 Carlson's choke uh, Lombard XR 568 40 yards. All right, guys, that's the Federal TSS number nine out of the Stoger with the uh, Longbeard XR, Carlson's Longbeard XR choke. So anyway, you can tell. I don't know if that was me that pulled it to the left. Last one was up. This one was to the left. So it very well could be me. I think I'm flinching on this gun a little bit. So anyway, but it's still a dead turkey. If that pattern was a little bit over to the right, it'd be smoked for sure. I'm gonna shoot this pattern master since I've got it in there. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot it at 40 yards with the uh, TSS number nine. See how it does. And if it if it looks pretty good, then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shoot a piece of metal at 40 yards with it. And then we'll see what that looks like. And then I'll switch chokes. Here we go. TSS number nine, 40 yards with the uh, code black pattern master with the 565 constriction. All right, folks. That's the uh, TSS number nine, 40 yards out of the code black turkey, 565 constriction out of the Winchester SX3. So now I'm gonna shoot a piece of metal at, uh, at 40. Just give me an idea of the number nine penetration test. That's something I haven't done for myself yet. back too far. Okay, first piece of metal. Here it is. TSS number nine, 40 yards. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. There's the front. There's the back. Every pellet that touched this piece of metal blew right through it. So we'll see. I'll show you the difference in just a little bit whenever we do the Longbeard XR number six you know, compared to these tungsten loads. So, that's, man, that's just plenty of knockdown power at 40 yards, you know, to break a neck, punch a brain, whatever you're doing, you know, with a turkey. So, I like that. All right, got the Carlson's Longbeard XR turkey choke, 568 constriction with the Longbeard XR number six, 40 yards.
Longbeard XR number six with the Carlson's Longbeard choke, 40 yards. Next up, same choke, Carlson's Longbeard with the uh, TSS number seven, 40 yards. All right, out of the Carlson's choke, here's the Federal TSS number seven, 40 yards. All right, I'm gonna shoot a uh, Federal TSS number nine out of this Carlson's choke, just to see what it'll do. And that's going to about do it for my number nines. And if I like it, hopefully I can find some more. It's getting, to, getting right on turkey season, so uh, stuff's going to get hard to find. All right, folks. TSS number nine, Carlson's long beard choke. Um, you know, as you can see, I pulled a little bit left, you know, and I'm not sure if that's me or, you know, if that's just how it's shooting. Um, I need to come back another day when I'm fresh and, and check that. I don't want to move anything right now, so. Anyway, though, it's holding a uh, pretty good pattern there. Anybody that's interested too, this target from uh, the outer edge of the diameter of that outer circle is 10 inches, if anybody's wondering. All right, we're going to shoot the Briley choke that came with the gun. Uh, just in case anybody's interested, we'll shoot a Longbeard, number six, and then a uh, TSS, number seven, at 40 yards. Up first is num uh, Longbeard, number six. All right, that's the Briley Choke, Winchester Longbeard XR number six, 40 yards. Again, my pattern's a little bit left, but different choke, I don't know how that shoots. I never have really spent much time with this Briley Choke. All right, TSS number seven out of the Briley Choke. All right, guys, in case you're wondering, Federal TSS, number seven, 40 yards. Um, that's with the Briley factory choke that comes with the Winchester SX-3 Turkey. So it's not bad. You know, I pulled that one a little bit to the right, but um, that time, just for the heck of it, I intentionally held my bead about right here. So anyway, who knows, man? I'm moving around a little bit. Now, now we're gonna uh, go shoot some metal. So. I'm gonna shoot the uh, Longbeard XR number six at a piece of metal at 40 yards. See what the penetration is, and then I'll shoot the TSS number seven at 40 yards. See what kind of penetration we get.
Long beard XR number six, 40 yards at a piece of metal. All right, guys, here we go. Winchester long beard number six, 40 yards penetration test. So this piece of metal, like I said, is 10 thousandths thick. Um, so out of all this shot, I mean, you see a bunch of dents in the metal. Um, maybe you can see that. Probably only six pellets altogether went completely through the metal. The rest of it just uh, dented it. Um, no, no full penetration versus the uh, TSS number nine, where TSS number nine, let's see, it's gonna be right here. That's 100% penetration. You know, everything just blew through this metal. And the uh, Tia, the uh, long beard number six, you know, just put a bunch of dents in it. So the, the TSS definitely has the downrange power for sure. Now I'm gonna shoot a uh, number seven and then we'll compare those two. I expect, you know, last year, last year I shot number seven at metal and uh, it was the same thing, 100% penetration. So I don't expect any different today. Yeah, I'm definitely flinching. All right, guys, 40 yards, 10 thousandths piece of uh, metal flashing, 100% um, penetration on the TSS number seven. I mean, it just blows through this stuff like butter. That's what I like to see right there. Hey guys, that's gonna do it for us today. Today we shot the Winchester SX3 Turkey and the Stoger M3020 Compact. Uh, both those guns are 20 gauge. We shot the Longbeard XR number six and the uh, Federal TSS number sevens and number nines out of, out of three different chokes. So, uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. Um, you know, that, that's kind of what I hope to do on this channel, you know, just bring out stuff like, uh, like this, pattern test, you learn a little bit, might as well share it. You know, that's what it's all about. Uh, turkey season is only a few weeks away here in Georgia, and uh, we, we're getting ready to roll. So, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'm going to get this mess cleaned up and get everything packed up and head to the house. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching Sloan Outdoors, and if you like this, don't forget to subscribe. You know, it would, uh, you know, help me a lot. And let me know that people are watching. Thank you.